Hello, I'm going to show you some news about Copperland. Um, Copperland is uh, now in uh, version 1.1, uh, actually it's a preview of the version 1.1. Uh, so there are some news in the Copperland manager, there are some news also regarding the copper plug with, which has been totally redesigned. Um, and here in this video I will show you how to bind very easily this kind of controller to any Copperland application and will for this example I will use a Kernage through copper plug. So in the Copperland manager uh, going to the editor you can see here the MIDI interface is present on the computer. For the moment there is no MIDI interface on this Mac. So I will connect the BCF to dozen and now there are some MIDI port available from this uh, menu. So uh, I have two port MIDI to Copperland and three port Copperland to MIDI for the BCF. I will just use the port one which is a strange name but it's the name uh, allocated by the system to the BCF. 2000. So I will activate the port one. So the uh, it's the MIDI to Copperland interface to allow the BCF 2000 to send messages to the Copperland network. So when I turn on the port one, you can see that there is a new device that appeared on top of the list, and this device corresponds to the MIDI to Copperland port. Uh, related to the BCF 2000, and from here I can control. Uh, I can set up the control. So uh, the, this new version of Copeland allows you to create Copeland controllers uh, for uh, MIDI knobs or sliders like this. So the first step is to learn the the knob and the slider you want to uh, associate to Copeland controller. So, I activate the learning and the next I will move the sliders. And each time I move a slider, a new controller is created in the list. So I create 8 controllers for the sliders and then I will move the knobs here. And it creates also 8 controllers for the knobs. Okay. So now I have 16 uh, Copperland controllers related to the control change. So you can see here the control change number and the Copperland controller number. So, so the, you can of course delete um, the, the, the controller if you made some error uh, during the learning procedure. And when, once you have finished, you click on the done. And at this time, you can go to the connector. Film MacBook, which is my computer. Port 1, which is the MIDI to Copeland port related to my BCF2000. And yes, so something new. You can see that uh, everything has been uh, separated with title so it's more clear to understand what the, what are the different outputs so you can find here the usual output related to a MIDI port with the clock and the virtual MIDI cable as usual but there is another a new device here which is controllers and this device exposes 16 outputs corresponding to the 16 knobs and sliders I've learned so if I'm selecting the first controller here, from now I can learn this controller to assign it to a parameter everywhere on the network. So when I click to learn, uh, the, there is a menu uh, telling me that the global learning is in progress and I, I can cancel it from there. So when, oh yes, it's a, <laughs> a new help feature. So there is a learning uh, in progress and now I can move a um, parameter here, for, for instance the A, the VCF A on my 
plugin so it's moving there too of course okay so yeah I am on the VCF and it's the A parameter moving there with my parameter here and here you can see that the VCF has been associated to the controller one and if I want to see what what is the the associated control I can go to the sign control menu which is a menu allowing me to manually change the assignation but here in this case it was uh, made by learning so everything is already done at this time so FA which is the FA parameter here has been associated to controller 1 okay so now if I'm moving my sl first slider here I'm moving the parameter FA okay so something cool from the moment so as you can see I will another example I will uh, take the controller 9 which is the first knob here and I will learn the controller 9 on the A of uh, master section here so from now the VCA if I'm moving the A here it's moving there of course and if I'm moving the first knob here it's moving also my parameter so learning is done through the network so as you can see the BCF2000 is connected to the Mac and from the Mac I am controlling a plugin running on my PC okay so uh, it's cool because you can easily control anything on the network you can assign each button to any parameter over the network so it means that this slider can control this plugin this slider con can control another plugin running on another computer uh, a single controller like this can control anything on the network but it's not all <laughs> there is another f uh, feature which is very useful if you have controller with feedback like this the BCF2000 offers motorized uh, sliders and knobs with LED grown. Um, so from here I've just activated for the moment the port 1 in the MIDI to Copeland direction but if I'm going to the Copeland to MIDI interface and if I select also the port 1 so I have selected both uh, MIDI port, uh, so MIDI port in both direction for this controller. And now, if I'm moving the A controller, you can see that the slider is moving too. And if I'm moving the uh, the other one here, it's the LED crone that is moving. So you have a feedback of the current value on your MIDI controller from the Copeland network in a, a few clicks. Okay, uh, that's it from, uh, for the moment. If you have any question, just send me a mail. You know my address. I'm on Facebook. You can find me very easily. I am Copperfield. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video. And see you soon.